So, um, the idea is, imagine that there is no one who is telling you that you're good. That is, there is no one who is smiling to you and not really appreciating what you like and what you do. You will not feel the same way as you do. You will not be that happy. Imagine your colleagues, your student colleagues, you see them and they are like, well, you are how you are. They will not, never say you anything good. They will actually maybe tell you bad things. You will not feel good. And this is how important it is to have people around us who we like, who appreciate us, who we appreciate, and who are clapping for each our success. So this is a first takeaway, how we can change our mindset really in depth when we surround ourselves with the people who are actually pushing us forward and not stopping or slowing us. And now with these words, I want you to write down five people who you hang out the most. Five people. Maybe it's your student friends, maybe it's your family members, maybe it's your partner, and so on. Just write down five names, okay? Who needs more time? Is there anyone who needs more time? Okay, so everyone is ready. Great. Now let's do another exercise. I want you to pick just one person, and it really does not matter who you will pick from this list. Just pick it. Write the name. I would say George. George. And here we are going to make a line, and we are going to think about that person. What do we like about this person and what we don't like? Which qualities? Here I would say start with negative and please go at least with three. Find at least three. What you don't like about the person. You always can find something. And then go with the ones that you really, really like. Okay? Let's take a couple of minutes for this. I will turn on the music. Okay. Okay, great. So, we have it. We wrote things down. Things that we don't like about closest people to us and things that we like. So, it turns out that there are things that we do not like about our closest people. What does this teach us? So, there is two, but we can actually brainstorm more. What this teaches us so that we um, can take our takeaway message from this exercise. What do you think? Takeaway message. What could be takeaway message from, from this exercise? Yes, please. Is there more good and bad things to people we like? Yes, yes. Number one, yes. Other idea? What could we else take from here? Yes. We share, yes, this is the number one, awareness, awareness. So imagine if we are neutral to something. Let's take as an example alcohol. I'm neutral to alcohol. So it means that whenever I have friends who love drinking alcohol and they're going to the party, I'm with them. At some point, they will suggest me. And again and again and again. So I'm neutral. I'm, I'm not feeling, I don't hate it. I don't love it. At some point, I will try and I will go and drink it. It's quite a clear thing. The same with smoking, let's say. But if you know something, let's say you know you don't like alcohol and you are aware of this because we are not aware of something and we have it here at this side, then whenever I hang out with the friends, I know for sure I don't want this. And then when a friend asks me, do you want, I say, I don't want this. Please never talk to me about this. I'm not the person who is into alcohol. So you're making the boundaries there and telling and showing that you 
are not drinking this. And also, you can find out the people who are the closest to you, but you don't want them to be close to you anymore. Because here are like 20 things you don't like about them, and there is zero that you like. Why are you hanging out with them? And this happens. Just think about your surrounding. So, we're becoming aware with this exercise about two things. And the one is what we want to take from this person. Which qualities? So we try to concentrate on those and make them our habits, maybe, as well. And the second one, that is even more important, we realize what we don't like about other person. It's about a little bit of self-reflection. 